the benefits from the COVID virus is that I get to use our spare room. There's no one coming to stay. So I've taken it over, did a little bit of negotiation, but got there. So I'm in a nice clean space, a little bit echoey, but it's a nice clean space. What I'm planning on doing is doing a play field swap or two. Scared Stiff from Mirko, and I've got the Adams family from CPR Playfields. But to do that, I need to build a rotisserie. And so I hit YouTube, searched up one of the best plans for the rotisserie, and found one from the Canadian Arcade YouTube channel. I'll put a link for that up there. You can have a look at that. That's the original video. Now, I couldn't find all those parts, but I've managed to go off to Bunnings in Australia and source the parts for under 100 US dollars. Now, part of that's just because the Aussie dollar's weak, <laughs> but really fairly in its inexpensive rotisserie, and I'm building two. So let's have a look at the parts that I got from Bunnings and lay out the costs. I'm gonna make a slight change to the design from the, Can the Canadian Arcade YouTube channel, just because I couldn't get one of the key components. I'm hoping it's gonna work. If it doesn't, well, then I'll be back to the drawing board and wait and see if I can get that part uh, from eBay or something else, because or Amazon. But here we go, these are the bits that I need. So here are all the pieces and components we're gonna use to make this rotisserie. The basis on which it's made is this mitre saw stand, which I picked up in Bunnings for 88 Australian dollars. Um, and effectively what you're doing is you're removing these rollers that have exist in the, the design of the mitre saw stand and replacing it with, uh, with these square angle tubing. Attach some of these onto with the slots which get attached to these square tubes with some of the, uh, the nuts and bolts and I have gonna got some G clamps for attaching the play fields onto the angles and then over here I've got some uh, rubber single sided piece of seal which I can put on here to protect that play field. It should be a really quick assembly because I've got to drill three, four holes and that's it, and then it should be uh, all bolted together. I'll put a list of all these parts and what they cost up on the screen over here, so you can have a look. But it's a really simple design. First step is to get this out of the box and uh, make, make up the stand. So, I'm gonna send you that, you can watch it in time lapse. Now all I have to do is to drill holes to fit these M10 bolts into the tubing, a nice 10 mil hole, and I can attach the on with these wing nuts. So I literally have to go and drill two holes, one in each of these. I also have to find the center point of this and drill a hole in that as well, so because the slot is smaller than than the the, uh, the M10 bolt. So let's do that quickly now. Let's get the tape measure and drill those quickly. So I've marked it 30 mils from the top down and up in the middle of the pipe, which is 15 mils. So I'm gonna get that and drill that first. So one of the issues you have when drilling into metal is that as you start drilling, it moves around. To get an accurate spot for your drill bit to stick around, you need to create a small impression. To do that, you can do it with a, just a little hole punch. It just needs to smack it on the top of the hammer. I'm just going to do those now on those two spots. Just creates a nice little impression. So you can have a look. So you can see where there's a little hole there. So now what happened is that when the drill starts turning, it'll end up in that hole. So find the little dimple I've created. Try to keep this as vertically as I can. Now 
That is a bit of a fail. I'm gonna go and take this out and put this in the vise in the garage and I'll be back. Okay, so that's much better using a vise. Don't try and do what I did, it was stupid. Um, so the hole's gone through each side and now I just need to drill this. I'll go and put this in the vise too, halfway down the middle, 10 mil hole, and then that will be able to get mounted onto there, hopefully. Okay, these have been cut. So exactly, these are 60 centimeters, 600 mils, and halfway in the middle, I have cut a hole, 10 mils wide. So now, it's a matter of just assembling these. So this is where it's slightly different to the Canadian arcade. I've got wing nuts, bolts, and a couple of washers. This goes in. Okay. So then we just need the three washers, a bolt, and the butterfly. So we go bolt, washer, through the angle, put a washer between the two here, go through there, washer on the back, and then simply the butterfly nut. That really is pretty good. Now, the last step before we actually call this done is gonna be just to add some of this protective seal so that the play field's not damaged by going directly onto the metal. So this is just um, some rubber seal, which is got self-adhesive. And looking at it now, maybe I could have bought this maybe 60 mils rather than 40 mils. But the idea is to put the rubber on the bottom and then overlap it a little bit on the edge. So I'm gonna go and get a cut, a knife to cut this to the right length. Um, I'm a bit worried about this nut here. Um, we'll see what we do there. But I'm now going to peel it off and try to stick it at a bit of an angle. Okay, so that's now protected and in place on both sides. You can see how it just slips in there. Nice bit of rubber protection. So let me go and get a play field, pop it on, and uh, we'll go from there. So I've secured the end completely. It's just, it's, it's compressed up against the side. I've checked the heights are roughly the same. I might go and um, put some markings on here once I find out the perfect width. Got the scared, foot, scared slip play field, popping that on to the one side. 
trying to find roughly the middle to make it symmetrical and you can see here on the end I need to move this out and this is where this horse just works so beautifully that slides out and then once you've done that you can go down below here and just tighten these nuts in there you go those knobs tighten up easily and now this is in place now all we need to do is to secure this so that when we turn it it doesn't fall over so i'm going to put some rubber on the self-adhesive on both sides one to stop it slipping and the other to protect it so it's not pretty but it's going to work So rotisserie is done, uh, if you want to see actually what happens as I start to populate this profile, you can hit the little subscribe thing which is down here, you can hit the notification bell and you can see as I enter this journey, but I'm going to go and make the second one, so literally I'm going to have two rotisseries next to one another and because I can do this for under 100 bucks, I uh, really thought it's worthwhile and it's going to save me hours as I can literally flip, turn, fix. Thanks for watching, until next time.